Hey you guys, it's me Alicia and I am sharing with you today my very first um, steampunk configuration box. So it's bugging me when I flip that. Um, so this is for a swap and my swap partner chose steampunk and that's something that I only do when I have to, but I do enjoy it. It's, it is a lot of fun. It's just hard for me not to use flowers and pinks and all that stuff that I love. But this was definitely fun and I was able to use a lot of my metals. So I did enjoy it. Um, so I wanted to share it with you guys and kind of we'll walk you a little bit through what I did. Maybe this um, can help somebody on their on their first. So. First of all, I used the uh, engraver paper, a Prima, and this was a lot of fun, and it was really easy to um, working with the paper. No, you guys haven't seen it. Working with the paper was really fun. Um, just having embellishments in the paper kind of help everything, kind of help me put everything together. So, oh, another thing that I did, if you can see, everything is distressed with this like black. Um, oil looking paint and I actually found this at Michael's at the um, clearance uh, and I just I bought it because it looked like some paint that I could use for glass and I never really used it but it was awesome for the metal and then I used my rubber buff um, to kind of bring back um, because I wanted a layer, so I took some of the some of the bronze color off with the black, and then I put some gold back in, as you can see, like for example, on this one. So, really quick, quick. I just wanted to have like a different theme um, based on the paper, the embellishments that I had. And this one was really fun because there's a key on the back of the paper, so I just dangled some of those. A lot of these metals are from my store. This one's, and what I like about steampunk is that steampunk is so, like, anything goes type of thing. So you can really mix and match a lot of crazy things. Um, for example, the fishies, I wanted them to fly instead of swim. And I put a little angel, I made a little angel with beads and put them in the, um, on the butterfly. So it's like a butterfly angel. This is my gambling room. And I know it's, I don't want to be stereotypical, but I work at a casino, so it was an Asian theme. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, I hope that's not mean, but it kind of goes with, um, and I wanted it to be interactive. That's why I'm trying to move this. So a lot of the stuff in there moves, like this guy. And I had this fan, and I just thought it just would look cool as a tail and then somebody had gifted me this little um i don't know if it's chinese charm but it went really well with that so thank you whoops Let's see i was afraid this would happen i bought this easel at um TJ Maxx, and it works perfect for cards with this box. And then I'm um, also on it. Sorry, guys, I have a mess back there, so I'm trying not to move this. I put hooks on. I'm just going to screw them on so my partner can use this as a um, chunky charm holder for keys. And, um, Sorry, I don't mean to be I'm a little tired, but I really wanted to share this with you guys. I know I should, I don't, I don't want to sound too boring, but um, it's taking me forever to upload my videos now. So I have to, like, as soon as I get a chance, I have to make videos so I can keep uploading them. Um, Then over here, this is the love room. Put a heart back there, and then I found I had this skinny little charm it says giving, so I put it inside a glass bottle. And I don't know, I think of luck and love, so I put a lock in there. 
I'll just add that a lot to cool. And I'll, I mean, I love this stuff. What I like about steampunk, at least from what I get, it's it's not supposed to really make sense as long as you get metal from gears. You could just go nuts with it. So I enjoy it. Now, my partner enjoys Frida. I don't know if she knows as much as I do, but I wanted to make a Frida room. I have been dying to make Frida-themed art, and I'm just always so busy with other stuff. So I had this, sorry about the glare, I'm sorry. So I had this image. Just drop my beads. So I had this image, and the reason why it's glaring is because I used some of my glass tiles and made a, like a charm. If you saw the foil around, it was some, some that um, Tracy, Shaitan Tracy, gifted me. And you can make these, like, frames and charms and jewelry stuff. So I made a little one with Frida. I put her there in there, that room. And if you guys can tell, I know, I'm sorry, it looks a little dark. But this is a skeleton charm. Um, Frida Kahlo was, like, obsessed with death and skulls and stuff and if you can tell there's a nail going across the charm so i'm moving it too much now you can't tell. anyway and i hope it's not too dark for my partner but um it's if any of you guys have seen the movie frida she had an accident when she was a teenager um and that's the reason why she could never have kids so i just thought it was a really cool thing to put in there and just for somebody that knows about her that would understand that. So I hope that she likes it. If not, I figured she could just cover it up. Then I just kind of collected a bunch of trinkets and medals. I got this from my son's jacket that broke off. I had a bunch of charms. Um, actually, I think I did get this, this charm. I think I purchased this on eBay. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is, as you can see, it's my first configuration box. Well, actually, not the first one. I had a shabby one, but it was it was a lot easier to show off. Maybe well, this stuff is tilted back, so I'm trying to move it there you go, so you guys can see it straight and not get you too dizzy. Because I want to show you all the rooms, and I don't want to take too long. But anyway, this is my glam room. I put a rose and. Um, a cameo frame and one of my high heels in there. So it's like a shoe. Then the sewing room was super fun. I used this. You guys have to buy this stuff. Triple thick. This, I think this was, I paid almost nothing for it. Um, with my coupon. I know it's really cheap. And it's just like Dimensional Magic or, um, Glossy Accents. It's just you get a lot more in the bottle and it's a little thicker. And that's what I used for those buttons. If you see in the back, it's all buttons. I just put the triple thick to glue them all together and made a little. You see, you can still see how shiny it is in there. And then I just made a little sewing room. This was part of the paper. I got that um, charm for my friend Leslie. And she also gave me these. Um, Oh, they're super cute. So, and then I took a thimble. And then I used some of those um, hanger clips. And put a hanger in there. Over here, it's, um, I got this Journey key. That's one of those Tim Holtz um, and belly. So, Journey and the bike, I figured it goes together. So, that went into that room. Then over here, I did the same thing with those gears and the triple thick. I put a little wish um, right there, a little wish charm for my store over here. And then this is the curtain because it's supposed to be like a media. It was supposed to be the media room. Um, wonder, a little wonder, um, a little wonder um, tag, those metal tags from Tim Holtz. And then this says believing and seen is believing so I just put glasses in there this one it's a button that I had and I just had these these are those prima clock hands and supposed to move but I guess after I painted it I glued them together so 
Anyways, this used to spin around, but I think the paint made it glued together. But I thought it was super cute, like a little hair clock. And then last, this one was super fun. I had a ring that had an angel and then two wings on the other two fingers. But it broke, so I took wings from another charm and made an angel, glued it to a bottle, and just kind of distressed everything. And then I didn't really do much on the outside. I I put triple thick on this peacock on the side. And then on the top, I put this. That was the paper, Sweet Memories. I took some rope, distressed it a little bit too, um, for her to hang it. And then just kind of put metals all around on the corners and on the side. So, I hope that you guys enjoy this. Um, it was super fun to make. I really, really like it. And I hope my partner enjoys it. So, thank you guys for watching. You have a good one.